Yo, this is crazy. So the topic is we have this 29-year-old trans skateboarder who doesn't feel bad about beating the little girl. He was born a male, decided to compete against female little girls, and he doesn't feel bad about it. This is the result. He's first here. He won $500. Look at the second. 13-year-old, 16-year-old, 10 years old. This is crazy. Listen to what he has to say. I find that funny because that's like what I'm getting beat up about the most is like you're beating little kids and little girls and I'm just like uh I didn't intend to do that like I just this was the first competition that I've been to that I actually wanted to win it makes me really happy to see that there's kids that young that are in competitions and they're shredding and even placing in the high ranks so so that's like incredible to me that's not any reason to like not win a competition or something like I'm not gonna go there and be like oh, I'll go easy on them because they're kids the skill levels again really determined by your just like your your determination your tenacity to just like put yourself in on top and through these obstacles <laughs> it has nothing to do with your age do you think that you have a physical advantage okay uh, I don't I don't think so. Mostly because I I mean I don't really understand what that means besides like someone that's stronger, you know, like you would assume that a big man is stronger than a big woman. <laughs> so That is so dumb. Um, so but dumb. me, I'm like look at me, I'm not like buff or anything, you know, I don't work out really i just skateboard um i don't think skateboarding has anything to do with physicality all right so so far this person he, he doesn't get it he really doesn't get it it's about the decency to not compete against little girls how about you compete against people your age he doesn't get it let's keep going let me know what you think about it so far especially when we look at like kids these days literally kids there are some people who think that Sports should be divided into three categories. Biological men, biological women, and everybody else. What yep. do you think of that? Yep. I don't think that's the right answer. And that's pretty much like as far as that goes. Like, because there's so many suggestions and uh, it kind of goes in hand with uh, all the feedback that I'm receiving from people. Like a lot of it is negative and a lot of it is positive. Some of it is kind of just neutral, giving recommendations, and I love that, honestly. Like, it, I think it's all necessary. You know, like, people need to get angry, people need to be happy, and then people need to be in the middle, and then everyone comes together, and hopefully we come up with something. But as far as, like, segregating everything like that, I just, personally, I, I don't think that's the right way, only because, I mean, I don't know if, any of my reasoning is valid but no. i feel like that would be like calling us different like a different human race or some kind of like different type of human when we're not we're really all the same in some way like he said we are really all the same in some way that is so dumb do you want to see lebron james competing against women in the women nba no any college kid, any college kid, 17, 18 year old can get into the women NBA and destroy the competition. What is he talking about? He really doesn't get it. The problem is competing against little girls for money. You want $500. That is not fair. He doesn't get it. We all have so many things in common, although we look at each other and we know that we're all very different. So... I just don't think that's the right one. Wow. Although I heard a really good one. You want to hear it? <laughs> Please tell us. Okay. So this, this, I'm not saying this is the right one either, <laughs> but it's like the closest thing to what I've found to like, uh, some sense of equality, like something that's like, uh, like weight orientated, like something based off of like body mass and weight, or we could even do like, a. Uh, I mean, I don't want to say it this way, but because it, it's just so difficult when we're trying to create like some kind of uh, like a controlled group of some sort, because there has to be some sense of like putting people in a box, 
you know, if you're a man, you're a man, you compete there. If you're yep. a woman, you're a woman, you compete there. Yep. And then it's like at this point, it's like, well, she says she's a woman, but we don't believe her or something. And like, let's test her. So I took all these, you know, random tests, the testosterone test, the estrogen test, and like had to, I don't know if I used, yeah, I probably got prodded like by a needle to, to get some samples to get that out. So it was like a little intrusive, you know, so trying to create a category would have to like, we would have to realize that there is going to have to be some sort of line crossed as far as like the judgment that you're going to receive, like you're being judged whether you're going to fit in that category or not. Uh, but maybe like something waste, uh, based on the weight index or maybe like experience, like how long have you been skateboarding? Because that's really what counts. So you don't believe transgender women or men pose any form of threat to sports? No, not at all. The word that comes to mind is delusional. The United States of America, unfortunately, is not a place for fairness anymore. That's what's happening. Little by little. And this is what we have. A grown man competing against little girls and winning $500. And the second, the second place won $250 and it was a 13-year-old girl. No decency, bro. Crazy. A threat? Uh-uh. I mean, we're... We're only beginning to, to see this now. So at this point, it's like, it's beautiful. It's part of the human experience. We're all fortunate enough to go through this together. We should kind of just experience it and continue considering all of our feelings and thoughts about it until we can do something that we're all happy with. It doesn't have to be threatening. <laughs> It could just be fun, exciting, like being lost in a big city. Leah Thomas, she is a transgender woman and she has received lots of criticism from people who believe that she does have a physical advantage because of her background as a biological male. Hmm. Do you see skateboarding as slightly different to other more athletic sports? Um, hmm. Well, I mean, I can't really speak for for her and like what she's going through, but I would I would say so. Like, kind of, because you have like an external source. You know, your sport isn't just solely based on your body, as like I don't know, sprinting or something would be. It's 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 kind of like a, let's say like a race car driver. You know, like it doesn't really matter what you look like or who, whatever, like. You can drive a car better than I do, regardless of our physique and such. So that's kind of where I would pin skateboarding is like a, it's that, yeah. I'll keep competing because there are opportunities that are like almost like an instant growth. It's like picking up a little star or something. Um, but I'm just, uh, I'm just skateboarding to, to be happy, honestly. So I just want to keep being happy. I just want to keep being happy beating little girls. <laughs> just want to keep being happy. No decency, bro. Competing against little girls for money. If it was for fun, I understand, right? Everybody can play a sport for fun against little kids or whatever for money, bro. And this happened in New York City. First place, $500. You have this little girl here, 13 year old. She won $250. This is not fair. You know this girl worked really, really hard to get there. Just for this. That's not fair, man. Let me know what you think about this. Do you think this is fair? Is that a society you want to live in? A 29-year-old can identify as a female and go and compete against 13-year-old. Really? So any 30, 40-year-old dude can identify as a 15-year-old girl and go and compete in, I don't know, karate or taekwondo and just beat little girls. Come on, man. Hey, let me know what you think about this in the comment section. God bless you.